Hey guys, it's Otaku King 69 and ANN or Fake Anime News has published a new hit piece on Vic Mignogna. You know, I really hope Vic goes after ANN in his second round of lawsuits and sues their ass. I mean, imagine being so woke that you slander a man that's already suing other people for defamation. So this hit piece is titled Former Tekukon staff allege Vic Mignogna harassed Macross voice actor Mari Ijima. TechoCon 2010 CEO confirmed Adina's hotel room was rebooked under alias to avoid Mignogna given extra security detail. A former staff member of multiple U.S. anime conventions confirmed to ANN that she is the author of a Twitter thread that includes allegations about voice actor Victor Mignogna's conduct. And I mean, this is already flawed. Like, imagine getting your information from a fucking Twitter thread. Do these SJWs do any research or make any attempt to get any actual photographic or video evidence? Lynn Cunt, who uses the Twitter name LJ Montello, has worked in many positions in anime conventions across the U.S. since 2000. She told ANN that Oyaya Khan event in Columbus, Ohio in 2003, she saw many instances of Mignogna inappropriately touching guests, fans, and other convention patrons. Hunt believes many of these attendees that Vic allegedly touched inappropriately looked young. Yes, simply just looked young. Like, they're not actually, like, young and stuff. Like, you know, a 22-year-old dressing as a young lolly character? Oh, she must be underage. Not to mention that Vic probably didn't even inappropriately touch them at all. He probably just, like, consensually hugged them and stuff like he does with thousands of other people. At the Anime Central convention in Rosemont, Illinois in 2004, Cunt says she saw Mignogna give his personal phone number to many young female fans and touch and kiss other female fans inappropriately. Again, she believes many other parties had allegedly touched and kissed looked young. And again, this is bullshit. What do you actually consider kissing inappropriately? Is it just on the cheek? Because based on all the photos, that's all he does essentially. I'll give anybody $100 if they can show me a video of Vic Mignogna actually inappropriately kissing someone non-consensually. What do they actually consider touching inappropriately? Is refusing to do the hover hand inappropriate touching? Probably by these SJW standards. Most of Kunt's allegations, however, relate to Teko Shokan event also known as Teko, no shit, everybody knows an abbreviation, but anyways, in Pittsburgh, Kunt said that at the event in 2007, Vic allegedly sexually harassed convention guest Mari Ilmanji, the Japanese voice actor of Lin Miyame in Super Dimensional Fortress Macross anime. Responding on Twitter to Kunt's comments about Minyana and Lijma, voice actor Brett Weaver claimed to have been at a panel in Teko Shokan 2007 with both actors. He said, I never met Mari before the panel, but she told me she was very uncomfortable being around him. I had her sit to my right, and when Vic arrived, I made it clear he was going to sit to my left. He laughed and moved toward her. I looked him square in the eye and said, nope, sit here. We went through the panel, and I don't think me and Vic ever spoke again. So, they don't even ask the alleged victim at all. They just get some third-party stories. So, you know, this has already seemed quite suspicious. So, now they're just showing his tweets. Most of it is what ANN quoted, but uh, just read the last sentence. I was glad I was there for her. So now we just found out that this guy's a white knight soy boy cuck. If you thought that Ron Toy, Chris Sabat, Sean Semble, and Penguin of Truth was enough, well, we got room for one more white knight. Through the power of soy, I'm gonna protect women! Fake News contacted Weaver, who confirmed he wrote the Twitter comments and clarified. Mari asked me to make sure Vic wouldn't sit next to her. That's when I suggested she sit to my right and Vic sit to my left. I have been raised to where if someone needs your help, you give it. Well, I think you uh, missed one gender, cause uh, only white knights go for only women, and like, you know, I don't see you helping out any guys. I'm saddened that this hasn't been the case in the industry. First off, this story is clearly bullshit. I mean, if she was actually being harassed, she would go to con staff and not some white knight cuck. And also, why would she, even if she was being harassed, why would she make such a big deal about sitting next to him in a panel, I mean? There's literally dozens of witnesses all looking at, right at you. Even if Vic did do creepy stuff, he wouldn't do it in front of all those people just like that. Further allegation about Vic's conduct at Teko Shokan 2007 event were made by a colleague of Cunt. Fake News contacted this colleague, who preferred not to be named in the story. No accountability. 
but confirmed that they made these allegations. These allegations were included in a signed affidavit attached to the voice actress Monica Rial and her fiancé Ronald Soye's motion to dismiss Vic's lawsuit against them in July. Cunt also provided a signed affidavit. Now it does show Moronica's affidavit, but I'm not really going to go into it because I'm not Ricada Law, that's kind of his thing. I really love that so far in this article, they contact everybody except the actual voice actress in question. Cunt's colleagues said that Mignana went missing multiple times during the con, and the staff had trouble locating him, because apparently cell phones didn't exist in 2007. According to Cunt's colleague, there was one occasion when Mignana couldn't be found shortly before he was due to a Q&A panel. Cunt's colleague said that they were hearing that parents were asking a security officer for help to find their daughters, who were each approximately 14 years of age. They claimed that there was a message that had came to them saying that three girls had been found with Mignana in a hotel room. No one else was present in the room. So here we just got more fairy tales of the wicked hotel room and stuff, with again, no evidence. And like, what's with all these people going missing? Like, if this was 1930, it would be more believable, but I mean, people have fucking cell phones in 2007. Yo Alexa, what year did cell phones become available to the public? This might answer your question. The first commercially available cellular phone was the Motorola DynaTAC 8000X, developed by Martin Cooper and released in the United States in 1984. Alright, thanks Alexa. Cunt's colleagues then said they learned Mignana had promised the girls access to props related to Full Metal Alchemist as well as a special photo shoot. Hunt's colleagues said they personally saw Mignana, who allegedly ex extremely angry and red-faced, as though he had been screaming or crying. Allegedly, Mignana repeated and stated to Cunt's colleagues that he hadn't done anything wrong and hadn't done anything to the girls though the staff member didn't even accuse him of anything. Now these stories were starting to become more and more like fairy tales with all this made up stuff. The big angry red faced Mignana, the Fuhrer of the Reginald Rangers, ready to pull you into a hotel room and pull your hair. <laughs> Khan's colleagues said that they believe the parents of the girls decided not to bring the matter to the police. The colleagues said that they personally thought Mignana was high risk and was concerned that he would try something with underage girls and young women. And first off, um, the story is obviously bullshit. I mean, honestly, like, if your girls were actually assaulted by an old man, almost every parent would go to the fucking police. But if they went to the police, they'd be held accountable for what they said, so, you know, obviously they didn't. According to the same affidavit, Kung's colleagues observed Mignana touching both male and female attendees during autograph sessions. And, you know, that's bullshit. I mean, Victor is straight, a straight Christian, so there's no way he's touching men. In the ways... Kunt's colleagues thought there was inappropriate, according to Kunt's colleagues. Mignana gave the attendees close and tight hugs and longer than normal hugs. He was also described by Hunt's colleagues as moving his hands down towards the lower backside of a young woman or girl and grabbing a woman's hair. When you get past all the spin, what they're really saying is that Vic doesn't do a hover hand and actually gives real genuine hugs. And, well, if that's a crime, well... The colleagues allege that Mignana was not seen to ask for consent, but, you know, he might have done it anyway, but they might have not seen it. But anyways, they said that several attendees approached them directly after the event to say that they feel comfortable after Vic touched them, and, you know, that's clearly bullshit again, because, I mean, this whole story's made up. And if they actually did go to the con staff to complain, Vic would have been banned a really long time ago. Anyways, this article just keeps throwing in more and more stories and goes on for, like, a lot longer, but you get the point. I'm not wasting any more of my fucking time with this stuff, but uh, I'll leave the li article linked down in the description if you want to read all the lies yourself. Anyways guys, this is Otaku King 69 assaulting girls in hotel rooms, signing out.